What is going on YouTube? Hey, Mac making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at VeChain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, as well as the S&P 500 if we have time. Remember, today's the last day we're going to be looking at VeChain here on the channel. So if you guys want to see another altcoin reviewed for next week's episodes, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, the most popular one we'll see will be the one that we review for next week. So definitely make sure to comment which cryptocurrency you would like to see reviewed. Otherwise, what we're going to be talking about in today's episode is actually quite interesting. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but from yesterday to today, the one major key thing that's standing out compared to everything else is the fact that Bitcoin is trading above $60,000. I mean, I don't even know where to begin, but this is a huge, huge opportunity for the market. Um, you know, we've been talking about this probably for the past month and a half on the channel here basically discussing the fact that if we were to see Bitcoin break above its all-time high prior, we're going to be entering the bull market. I mentioned this over and over and over again in every video. Uh, we started to see that, you know, that lower highs start to form, these lower highs pretty much leading to what we thought would be a bear market, and we finally managed to hit that reversal. Slowly, you know, stem back up. We avoided a double top formation and actually broke the resistance and headed to all-time highs. So this is huge news for everyone here on the channel. So if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to follow me on Patreon if you guys are interested in any of my trades as I linked it in the description. And check out my Twitter if you have any questions you can DM me over there. Otherwise, let's jump right into today's episode. So guys, check this out. Now, obviously, we are going to be talking about XRP in a little bit, but I feel like the highlight should be based on Bitcoin just because of how inc incredible and, and crazy the markets have been moving. So I found this article on Forbes, and I think it does, for the most part, summarize uh, what exactly is going on. You can see that uh, Bitcoin right here, pr the price broke the physical or the sorry, the psychological barrier early Saturday morning, returning to its blister. Uh, blistering early 2021 bull market after taking a breather over recent weeks, which we saw uh, ahead of the Bitcoin surge over 60,000 Tesla chief Elon Musk, who has also been known uh, to move Bitcoin price with his tweets, called the popular Bitcoin crypto exchange Coinbase to support the meme-based coin, which is Doge. And that is pretty much all I really wanted to discuss. I mean, just the fact that it says we broke a psychological barrier is enough for me to explain kind of what's going on here. So you can see top 10 cryptocurrencies, the fact that Bitcoin is now trading above 60K just means so much to this, you know, alt season and this crypto space right now. The fact that we broke through that resistance even though we're not really pumping anymore, the fact that we broke through there shows signs that we're probably going to continue to swing up higher. The fact that Bitcoin managed to, you know, create this um, resistance level right here, we hit that barrier back uh, in February, end of February, February 21st, three days or two days after my birthday, we started to have this uh, lower high formation correcting lower and lower and lower. And honestly, I was nervous. I figured this could be the t the top of the coin compared to back in 20, you know, 17 when we hit that resistance and we were just going to create these lower high formations over and over again and just keep falling. Surprisingly, we actually managed to find a bottom, capitalize off that, and the second we saw a confirmation of a breach above this resistance which we had drawn creating these lower highs, the second we saw a confirmation of a breach from 48,000 it was game on from then. Pretty much all the altcoins started to follow as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. But as you can see, prices started to rise exponentially. We then discussed if we were to hit the top resistance and form a double top formation, which you can see is, is kind of very obvious for most that you know know what this is. We were looking for something like this. We were afraid that that was going to happen. We had to see whether or not we would close above this resistance or if we were going to pull back down to the support level, which we had this uptrend. And as you guys can see, yesterday we actually managed to close above resistance here, pretty much guaranteeing us that we're probably going to be seeing a couple more weeks of bull run um, for Bitcoin and probably the rest of the altcoins. So I'm pretty pumped and pretty excited to see these coins pump up like this. Uh, it really does show that we're probably going to be seeing some more pumps. I mean, if you guys hadn't bought in, this is the time to be buying in. Uh, right now, I have done so. I'm in the market again, back inside, just because of the fact that we broke through so many clear indicators of resistance and just smashed through it. 
yeah, there's a good chance Bitcoin the next maybe day or two is going to see some some small consolidation. Maybe we correct back down to bottom support here. But I do think we're going to immediately breach and start to continue to head up in the next coming months. I mean, just the fact that we were able to consolidate through this is just huge for Bitcoin right now. So a lot of, you know, hype and, and momentum is going to be focused on Bitcoin. But there are going to be some other altcoins that are going to start to rise that probably are undervalued or not many people realize. Obviously, XRP is one of those. For those that don't know, XRP has been forming a massive pennant flag that we have been literally watching every single day in the uh, in the hopes that it does decide to break bullish. Now, obviously, you can see with this pennant flag here, there is a huge lower high formation and a bottom support creating these higher lows. Three confirmations here, three resistances here. Uh, one, two, three. This could be maybe four, but we also have one, two, and three. So you can see with this consolidation, we're coming to the apex. Uh, we're just filling in this gap. We have, I said about March 15th, maybe by tomorrow, if not um, Tuesday, the latest, should we be able to see finally a confirmation break? Obviously, it goes without saying when we start to see ascending uh, or symmetrical fractals or pennant flags like this, we have to look out. We have to see whether or not the uh, candle decides to close above or below its support or resistances. If we see the candle close above its resistance just a little bit, maybe close, closing at 46 cents, the second we see confirmation of XRP closing above 46 cents is game to buy in because it should pump probably up to 53 cents easy. And I wouldn't be surprised if we headed back at some point to 63 cents. Vice versa, if we close the daily above, uh, sorry, below support, and we close closer to, I would say, 41 cents as a key con confirmation. We close below this, close at 41. Good chance we're going to see it do something like this. And I don't really want to see it that way. But right now, my main focus is on Bitcoin as Bitcoin is becoming a very good um, investment right now in short term. But for XRP, I do believe this is an undervalued coin. Uh, notice how Bitcoin is has been trading uh, pretty high right now. It's trading at its overbought market right now on the relative strength indicator at 72. Well, XRP really hasn't moved at all. It's trading at 50. It's pretty much, or 48, it's pretty much primed and ready to see some sort of pump in the very near future. That's why I'm like hyper-focused on XRP, as I do think the second we see confirmation of a close above this resistance here, I'm buying in for a swing to the upside to 54 cents. It's an easy trade. It's an easy leverage. We do have uh, BitYard pulled up right now. This is for Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin was a beautiful buy-in. We bought in actually back down here. We made some very big profitable trades for this uptrend and we've just been moving our stop loss higher and higher now obviously if you haven't yet bought into this market and you want to capitalize off the huge ten thousand dollar run just alone even if you leverage trade you could make profit like that uh, i do think right now in my opinion if i hadn't bought in already i would be buying in now because we can we confirmed the break above here and there's probably going to be another rally this is signaling another rally will probably top off at like sixty five to seventy thousand dollars before we see any sort of reversal down. And obviously just by moving your stop losses up by you know creating that trade, it's so easy to confirm that. The other thing besides uh, Bitcoin on, on the uh, BitYard chart is obviously XRP. XRP has this beautiful uptrend as you can clearly see right here, downtrend right here, boom. Ooh, where'd it go? The downtrend is right here and you can clearly see the ascending fractal that is forming within this coin and the second we see confirmation of a breach in either direction we'll know whether to buy long or sell short so hopefully you guys are focused on this i mean this is cookie cutter textbook obvious that there's a pattern forming here uh, a pennant flag forming this is it can't really be explained any better than this i mean just keep your eye out because it's literally a day or two away from seeing a big pop in its price. And regardless of the direction it's going to move to, we have finally confirmed the price that we're going to be seeing this movement. And, you know, within today or tomorrow or by the 16th, which is in two days, we should be able to know for, you know, pretty much a fact which direction we're going to be moving to, whether it's a swing to the upside or a short to the downside. We'll be prepared and we'll capitalize off this run by leveraging it on BitYard. So definitely make sure to check out BitYard in the description down below. I, I've been using them and they're great right now. I mean, everything that I've done on this coin to capitalize off the run on Bitcoin has been making me huge profits, you know, hundreds and hundreds or if not thousands of dollars. And then we also have XRP, which has made us a little bit of return. Bitcoin has been, you know, proven to make a little more money than uh, XRP because XRP has been fairly stagnant the past couple of days. But we have had its runs in the past and we're looking for a similar run in the next day or two. That's why I'm really focused on this. 
Obviously, if you guys aren't yet at that point where you want to start trading around with real crypto, you can obviously use their demo account too, which is pretty cool. I recommend it to everyone. I know a lot of people have been profitable um, on the demo account. And if you feel comfortable on the demo account making a few profitable trades, then swing on over to the uh, the live account and you'll actually be able to, to make some real crypto. So definitely check that out. But um, lastly, to wrap up today's video, we'll look at Ethereum and VeChain. Ethereum right now is coming close. I do believe in the next couple of days, we should be seeing Ethereum break through its all-time high and swing up higher. And I do remember just a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a couple of days ago, we made a video and I literally discussed XRP, or sorry, Bitcoin is headed to its all-time high and it's probably going to break through it. That's the guarantee. We discussed it over and over again. I've said numerous videos were headed back up to all-time highs and that's exactly what we did. Same thing goes with Ethereum. Ethereum is headed back to its all-time highs and that's exactly what it's doing. I believe yesterday we actually topped off right at that point. No, we didn't wake up to $2,000 yet, but we will very soon. So consolidation is needed. We're creating these higher lows. This is a pattern that was drawn on uh, pretty much every time we discuss XRP, or, sorry, Ethereum right here. This is the same pattern we've been talking about and it has you know, followed through every single time. So I'm really not worried about Ethereum. I do believe it's going to consolidate up. The second we see confirmation of a daily candle close above $1,950, it's game on and we'll see a big pop to the upside. As for VeChain, I still think it's looking good. I think it's waiting for these other coins, but I do think it's going to continue to rise as the alt season is probably just around the corner for these coins. And then lastly, the S&P 500 looks okay. We'll probably open up and, and move up higher. Hopefully today we break through all-time highs again. And we start to see you know markets move up. But otherwise, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Leave a giant thumbs up. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.